Welcome back on a Friday. It's another episode of Stage Door, a theater podcast hosted by a couple of regular dudes. And we are with one of the uh, amazing high schools in the area, Notre Dame Academy. And they're doing a show that uh, neither Ron nor myself have heard of. We don't know what this thing is. Curtains? So you're yeah. going to have to tell us right away what this is. So imagine if you had a murder mystery in a Broadway-bound musical, but before it's on Broadway. So like in the beginning stages. So your star of your show dies, and so now you're not sure if you're going to make it to Broadway or not. And there's a detective that comes in, and he has to figure it out. But he also has a deep passion for musical theater. So while he's trying to solve the crime, he keeps saying, oh yeah, and by the way, you should cut this number, because it's not as good as you think. (laughs) (laughs) So it's a show within a show. It is. Yeah, it's, okay. It's a lot of fun. So we have a we have a, a know it all detective who's trying to more overly more, help? more lovingly passionate, not uh-huh. a know it all. Uh, he he loves musical theater so much that he helps them improve their show as best as it could because it was not a great show to begin with. Okay, and then they make it a great. Is show. Is this an again. old show? Is this a new show? Since I've never um, heard of it before, I, don't, it, I it's like. Somewhat older, I think it came out like 2013 or oh, something like that. That's new. Come that's on, and I, mean, I guess so. Uh, Somewhat older. I was, I was like, is this a 1930s? Musical? No, no, no. Sounds uh, like curtains has a double meaning. Curtains as in stage, and then curtains means you dead. Yes. Yeah, it's curtains for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't say it with your little, your little I, Bugsy Malone I, voice. I, I did it. <laughs> I was saving that. For yeah, it's curtains for you, right Mister right Curtains. Yeah. yeah, you got to do yeah. it like that. If you're gonna do it, do yeah. it. Yeah, you're gonna sound like You're the right. Bugs Bunny character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you brought with you uh, your choreographer. Uh, yes. And and Lori, you, you I've not met you before, but you seem lovely oh, already. And we're always excited to have choreographers on because they always seem to have personalities. Yeah. Oh, well, and choreographer <laughs> means dance, so this show must have need a choreographer. Yes, there is a lot of dance in this show. Oh, cool. Um, what kind? There is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's all kinds of dance. It goes from some Western dancing and saloon. Oh, um, I was say, what, what is Western? Like like four squares or what is that called? Like really? the do-si-do. Yeah. Oh, know, really? Yeah, yeah, Square yeah, okay. dance. Yeah, and, squ- uh, oh, I had four squares. I, knew, I was yeah. close. Four uh-huh. squares, square <laughs> dancing. Okay. And then um, it goes into very broadway as. Do you remember doing square dancing in elementary school? They forced you to do that? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's like yeah. the first time I ever first touched time. a girl. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm still waiting to use that in my adult life. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. see, I always liked it because I was a dancer. Good. Oh. So big you Broadway, got touch, and you big got the Broadway dance, dance numbers yeah. is... Yep, You're going to so, see some tap or anything? Um, yes, there's okay. going to be some tap thrown in there, um, some good waltzes. Ooh, and, pretty. Um, I think just a plethora of, you know, styles. Yeah. So this actually sounds like, you said like a murder mystery, fun little thing, and lots of dancing. So why haven't why haven't I seen this? I shouldn't, this seems and like a very fun show. Because it sounds funny. It starts out as a really bad show, but the detective solving a murder case yeah. makes it a great show. Well, and incidentally, uh, so the star of their show uh, is the reason the show is bad. Oh. So the, the show actually starts with the show within the show, uh, Robin Hood, but it's like cowboy Robin Hood. And the star of their show is this kind of Almost like a Kim Kardashian, like big oh name, gosh. but not very talented. Oh, so just uh, like that, yeah. No offense to Kim Kardashian. No, I'll, I'll offense her. Uh, it's I, fine. <laughs> uh, I do not dislike you, just an example. Uh, but with her dying, they are then able to replace her with someone who wasn't oh, a big Oh, she died? Name. Yes, she dies Is in that the part opening, the... No, oh, opening okay. sequence. That's how right. everything starts. Not a spoiler. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. So she she croaks right away, and she now they can right replace away. her with somebody with actual talent. Yeah, <laughs> but not a big name. So, no, just uh, yeah. talent. That's all you need, right? Yeah, need exactly. To, but, just like it's only tickets. But I'm, yeah. I'm you guessing at the plot. I'm not going <laughs> to guess any further. Yeah. All right. And so your website calls it a... Musical for people who love musicals. Yes. Uh, there, I mean, our detective, his name is Chaffee. Uh, he's a Boston detective, and he kind of is the audience surrogate, like where he follows the characters around, and he just loves musical theater. And there's so many homages and references to other great works of musical theater. The opening number is, uh, they spell out Kansas 
like Oklahoma. Oh, I mean, it's okay. like an almost like direct <laughs> rip. Okay. Off. Um, yeah, and funny. so there's there's kind of like a lot of references from musical theater folk. It's like, oh yeah, like that's you know that, and oh. so that's kind of fun uh, for the theater community. It's okay. a, it is a musical for musical theater people. They're like shut curtain, shut curtain. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Like, okay, all right. did, did you write the show? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just do they yeah. do that for real? Tell me, do they? Do no, that? they. Oh they, darn, I'm sorry. <laughs> they blew their chance. They, I just thought of it immediately just now. It could have been a good yes. thing. So I want to hear more about the choreography though. So tell us more. Like, how do you come up with and how do you build this choreography um, for all these things? Does Matt tell you do this or do you? No, YouTube. <laughs> Just look watching YouTube. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, we we always plan, we share ideas, how we want Who's something we? to you, look. You and, you and the director? Um, And the whole, the whole team. Um, we kind of sit, we know what, we figure out what kind of props and sets we're going to have, you know, kind of picture it what direction we want to go and you know we've got a large cast so we try to use as many kids as we can getting them in and out and do you lean on like i know that notre dame has a dance team there do they did a lot of them show up and and make an appearance and possibly be in the show there are quite a few from the dance team on there yes Mm -hmm. and then um i was a dancer from karen who did the shows prior oh okay so i feel like that's all the style i know so i've got a lot of karen that's that good. Out That's a good thing to have, obviously, as well. Yeah. Have, have but Lori is also being incredibly humble right now. Oh. And she comes up with... So she knows musical theater dancing really well because a lot of people will sometimes think, oh, okay, it's a dance number. So they choreograph a great dance, which is awesome. Uh, but Lori really pays attention to like the storytelling and how to like always emphasize character moments and things like that. And that's what I... I'm always impressed with about her is that she, I, I will, we were doing something the other day, just blocking a scene and I couldn't figure something out. And she just suggested like, well, instead of doing this, like they could tie a, a rope around their waist because someone spoiler, uh, gets oh, hung this is in the a show. Spoiler. Okay. <laughs> so that we are trying to put in a lot of like double meanings of like, Oh, well someone's has this rope around them. Is it the same rope that, you know, someone, gets murdered by um so yes there is a lot of different styles of choreography but overall she's great at combining dance with storytelling why are you being humble over there this is not a show about being humble (laughs) you gotta brag a little bit about yourself and be like i'm amazing i do all these great things (laughs) but also you probably gotta like you were talking about it's choreography for a show Mm -hmm. you can't do these crazy dance things people got to be able to breathe yes sing (laughs) and that's yeah you know, <laughs> hey, can you guys do this and sing? Yeah, do this whole thing, and then they're like, <gasps> hang on, just a right. second. <laughs> Good orchestra has to do a loop of music until the kids find, can catch their breath. Find right. tappers or start them way back in the summer learning to tap. Or so there's a many kids that come in with some background in tap, and then we do spend the first few rehearsals, you know, coming up with combinations and moves and trying to get everyone that exposure. And you know they just love it. They everyone loves tap, right? I mean, I do. <laughs> they have feet, you, are there some that are like that person's so good? They get a little bit of a feature role, probably too. Do you have any breakout moments where it's like, boom, we all just sit back and enjoy the dance for a while? Yeah, I think yeah. there's quite all a right. few like little dance breaks in there, and yeah, good. they. I mean, the the seven minute dance break. Yeah, there is one of those. <laughs> there originally was. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it will not be in this show. Oh, okay. It's like cut it down to two and a half or that's good. Slightly. Yeah. Yeah. But, seven minutes may be a yeah. bit much, you know, so, for me um, even. You're the hardcore theater person. Now you guys have a tremendously huge auditorium. Uh, yes. Yeah, like you can stage your whole huge production there. You don't have to go and rent a place out or anything. Oh yeah. You have access to the stage the entire time. Oh yeah, yeah. It's nice. like a nine hundred seat auditorium. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it's uh, it's more like long back rather than open and wide. Okay, uh, like some other theaters. So that's kind of kind of nice too. Where like no matter where you're sitting, you're gonna have a good view of the stage. Very which is cool, awesome. Uh, and so a lot of depth can be used instead of yeah. You know, it's got very Broadway esque, like where yes. it's narrower and and deep. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I was gonna say it works great too for dance because then the kids are right there on the stage. And, you know, you don't have that transition week where now you're in this new place and it's a new setting. You know, they learn their lineups right there. 
So it's an easy transition into tech week. Okay, so what, I need to know why somebody would want to come see this show because I'm still a little bit confused as to what this show is, you know, other than it was a cop who's helping would make the show better. What so is it exactly? at, at its core, it's a murder mystery. Murder mystery, uh, okay. With the backdrop of a Broadway musical. So kind of like, you know, in an Agatha Christie novel, like, you know, it's always the detective but in different locations. That's probably why I'm confused. Yeah. Because it's, <laughs> cause it's a murder mystery that is takes place in a show. Yes. In a Broadway show. Okay. And so they're once they discover it's been a murder, they're all locked in the theater and they're not allowed to leave. And you have, you know, the typical suspects. We have like the director and the songwriting duo that had broken up but came back together for this show in particular. Oh, they lock um, him in there and say, if somebody in this room's the killer and we're going to find him, that kind of thing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and no one's allowed to leave. And then our detective also has a romantic involvement or oh. interest oh. in one of the actors. At least but... a one way in romantic. Oh, no. There, this <laughs> oh, no, 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 spoiler, no, spoiler. Oh, not, not a spoiler. Not I a spoiler, think the choreographer promise. did it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be murdered. Tapped him to death. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's something to think about. Uh, tap, uh, tap, uh, boom. <laughs> so, uh, so um, where do you get your guys? Yeah, uh, St. Francis, Notre Dame. Um, do you know where our main detective, he, where is he from? I think he goes to Anthony Wayne. Pluto Christian. Oh, cool. One of them. Yeah. <laughs> One of them is yeah. from there. Who do we know from Twitter? Let's throw Christian. some names yeah. out. Yeah, let's hear the names. Yeah. Let's hear who's doing really good and, and, and really killing it right now. Uh, all of them. Yeah. I know. Yeah. First of all, let's clarify. All they're all amazing. Well. They're all I will totally shout out the dance blah, blah, blah. captains. All right, yes. yes. Oh, we I are fortunate enough to have three great dance captains mm-hmm. who have just been rocking out and helping. Um, we've got Molly, we've got Riley, and we have Ava. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're just... A great trio and hard workers and good. Yeah, see, so you like that, man. That yeah. wasn't so hard. <laughs> I, I know. know they're all I amazing. I just get so flustered. And you don't want to tell you anybody's well, not good. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't yeah. want to forget anyone. We get that. And, and, and you'll probably forget somebody, yes. and, and it's not on purpose, but there's got to be somebody like, like who's the who's uh, playing the detective? The His name is Abe. He Abe. is wonderfully hilarious. Uh, he And he goes to Toledo Christian. Uh, or Anthony Wayne. Gotcha. One of those schools. <laughs> gotcha. Um, but he has this wonderful like dorkiness about him uh-huh. that he can just really like light up about. The Abe was on, aspect. by the way. Abe, yeah. Abe was on this show. Oh, yeah? he, he was, was he on Beauty and, the Beast? On the yes. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes, he was Gaston. <laughs> so, yeah. So I, we we know Abe. So we know yeah. of him. So uh, yeah, I think he goes Anthony Wayne now. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then uh, just because we were, I was working with them yesterday, but. Uh, Jordan, who plays the de- like overly British mm. dramatic director of the show, uh, and our so there's a d- news reporter as well who pops in and out. Uh, his name's Jeremy. Uh, the the young man's name is J- named Jeremy, but mm-hmm. they have a scene together where the critic wrote a really bad review about the director, and the director's trying to get back at him, and so they were kind of poking at each other and yelling at each other. But they were hilarious. They were cracking me up so much. So and that's. I mean, all the kids at Notre Dame in the musical, they all just give everything, That's which awesome. is great. And you can tell that they are just having so much fun yeah. being there, which just, I mean, it just makes such a huge difference. That's when the point. Exactly. That's exactly the point. They should always be having fun. And, and this is your first time doing, uh, directing the Notre Dame performance, yes. correct? Uh, and, yeah. And are they treating you well there? Are they being I'm, mean to you? I mean, I did shows at Notre Dame, so I oh. know how they treat you over there. And <laughs> Uh, Notre Dame truly is something special. It, I mean, in so many regards, but in their musical, they just pull out magic every year, and it's so impressive. And I'm honored to be asked to step in this year. Are you so. the only dude in the whole performance? Uh, thank goodness you do are able to pull. I, my bad. You yeah. just said you had to pull these other guys in, so you guys can bond together and be like yeah. us, us against the girls if you have to, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, I mean, I, I've worked with Lori before when I was doing other shows. And I mean, honestly, mm-hmm. I was just really excited that we could kind of reunite our team a little bit. Nice. Uh, because mm-hmm. we kind of, I feel... I, I don't know f- about you, but I feel like we work really well together. Oh, absolutely. And so I was just thrilled. Yeah, that they I have a long standing tradition at Notre Dame for their programs, putting oh, yeah. them together and everything. One of our uh, co workers, uh, Miss Hickey, at the time now, she's Miss Fuentes, was okay. in, used to do theater shows back then. And we're all old, so that means they were yeah. good back then all the way till now. So that's always oh, good, wow. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, Notre Dame prides itself in sending 
young people off to college oh, yeah. well and probably theater students off to college well. Yeah, and what's great about Notre Dame is that they whenever they send their students out, like they do speech team as well. So there are so many young women who are versed in public speaking and just even any sort of advocacy and just being a well-rounded human being. Like I have so many friends who went there and because of their theater background, they are just able to be so much more successful. Yeah. Theater Um, just is strong, builds up that confidence really big. And Tris Sanders has done incredible work there for setting all of that up. I mean, she, she is truly a legend in her own right. And I, I, in my opinion, I think she's one of the greatest directors in this area because she leads with so much compassion and but also like mm-hmm. she's so creative uh and we're happy to continue this legacy on now uh you take trips to scotland are you do you know any have uh, you ever the yes they do uh trish sanders who teaches theater there uh she'll take her theater students uh and they actually it's more than just like a you know a regular drama class they have like you know i think a first year, second year, and third year drama class. So it actually gets pretty technical by their third and second year. Uh, and they do travel to Scotland. Uh, when I was in high school, they traveled to Scotland and they performed at like festivals uh, with a piece that she wrote. So they get a lot of great theatrical experience over there. I mean, it. I can't say more about it. They're just great over there. When's you the know? show? Uh, the show is... Uh, the last two weekends of October. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's in two. It has two weekends. It has yes. two weekends. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you guys mm-hmm. did two weekends. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no excuses then, right? No. Right. Oh, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm yeah. busy. Oh, yeah. A good thing we got another weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, the weekend before Halloween and then Halloween weekend. So oh, if you're, Halloween if you're weekend craving also. some spooky theaterness, yeah. come see Curtains at Notre Dame Academy. Yeah, Mystery, totally. science, spooky. Okay, so w- one more thing though, when yeah. you go into the school. I mean, are you always tempted to sing the Notre Dame song? Are you always like, the bells of Every Notre Dame? Oh, yeah. I would be yes. always. I would be like all the time. I, it's just constantly Hellfire. playing in my head. Yeah. Yeah. Bells, bells. 